The concept of the butterfly effect is attributed to Edward Norton Lorenz, a mathematician and meteorologist who was one of the first proponents of chaos theory. The butterfly effect is a term used to describe how small changes can affect large complex systems. The term comes from the suggestion that a butterfly in Brazil flaps its wings and a few weeks later Texas has tornadoes instead of clear skies. As with the butterfly, the same could be said of any of us. Not only are our possibilities great, but also we are often completely unaware of the impact of our actions. The butterfly effect is a reminder of the delicate balance we walk daily. Though we rarely take the time to realize that our words, our moods, our behaviors touch all of the people with whom we come in contact, minor actions can create major results. And just like the mathematical theory, we cannot predict the outcome. You are a small factor in the world. Don't get down about it. We're all small. But even the smallest actions can create ripples that change the world. We can't anticipate the ripples, but we can still flap our wings knowing that our actions might help create a storm of activity. So let's check some of the small events that change the world. Gavrilo Princip fired into Archduke's open car, killing both the Archduke and his wife, Sophia, on June the 28th, 1914. The assassination set off a chain of events that would lead to the start of World War I barely one month later. No one could foresee that one death would be the impetus for the First World War, and the deaths of about 16 million soldiers and civilians, and the wounding of another 21 million. Rosa Parks was an African-American civil rights activist. On December 1, 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, Parks refused to obey bus driver's orders that she give up her seat to a white passenger. Others had taken similar steps as well, including Irene Morgan and Sarah Louise Keyes. Although these two women stood their ground on transit systems prior to Rosa Parks, it was Parks who started the modern civil rights movement. On December 5, 1955, a group was formed calling itself the Montgomery Improvement Association to organize the bus boycott. They elected as their president a relatively unknown minister of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, one Martin Luther King. The rest is history. I have a dream that one day In 1905, a young 11-year-old boy left a mixed drink on his back porch by accident overnight. The drink left out of doors by Frank Epperson had frozen overnight with the stir stick still standing upright. It wasn't until 1923 that he thought of marketing this as an Epsicle with seven flavors. The name was changed to Popsicle and kids and adults alike still love them today. Tim Berners-Lee is an Oxford physics graduate who invented the World Wide Web and published the first web page on August 6, 1991. This page gave instructions to early web users how to set up their own web pages, which would be accessible to anyone on the relatively unknown internet. Berners-Lee never made a cent from his invention and now lives in the United Kingdom in relative anonymity. Now let's imagine what would happen if the internet wasn't invented. Can you imagine your life without the internet, without smartphone apps? Without YouTube? History is full of small events which lead to big events. Maybe even one of you did something that will start a chain of events and lead to the next big revolution or huge invention that will change our lives. Thanks for watching. Have any interesting thoughts about the butterfly effect? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and rate the video.